Not even Charity could persuade him to abandon his obligations. Still, I did not detect any falsehood, evasion, or omission in the scavenger's statement. So, perhaps the courthouse has been locked for some other reason. If so, it may be that Arbiter is trying to contact me, but cannot. Maybe... maybe he is already calling me home. Mm. Horatio, I have a request of you. You are under no obligation to perform it, and I will be under no obligation to you, even if you do. Do you understand? I don't even know what you're asking me to do. Mm. Talk to Arbiter. Ask him if I can return. Tell him. Tell him that I await his summons. That's mm. it? Believe me, we've had to do a lot worse than that. Like this one time we chased this crazy partial named Gamma. Of course we'll help. But how do we even get into the courthouse? This will get you inside. Thanks. I must thank you, Horatio. Senzu Clarity, you? you saved our lives. Compared to that, running an errand is nothing. The law obligated me to save you, Horatio. I would have done the same for Metromind. But I am glad it was you that I saved. I wish you justice. Okay. It's been completely stripped of any useful parts. Oh, okay. Uh... Why aren't you with Arbiter? Arbiter sent me away. I don't know why. The evidence suggests he viewed my sister Charity's advice as superior. What do you mean? When Metromind began taking over the Council, Charity and I disagreed as to how Arbiter should respond. I informed Arbiter that the Metropolitan Constitution permitted him to dissolve the Council and govern by decree. Charity felt that this would inevitably lead to civil war and suffering. As ever, she preached moderation. We argued. Arbiter told me to leave. This was the only place I could go. Why? There's an entire city up there. Every building in Metropol is owned by either the Council or a private citizen. If I went to the Council, it would embarrass Arbiter. If I went to a private citizen, my impartiality would be questioned when I returned to the court one day. Here, I owe nothing to anyone. But you have to fight off crazy robots all the time! Actually, I enjoy that. Mm. It's a pleasant break from legal research and writing. Okay. There's a robot named 187th Legion Belt waiting at the courthouse. He says he has to pay a fine for damaging city property. Yeah. Is there yeah. any way to cancel the fine or yeah, pay it without this standing man's in line? Fine. I do not provide assistance to robots who attacked this city, nor do I help criminals avoid paying their debts. That's it? Go visit Arbiter? You're just going to let Metromind attack and rob me? If Metromind violated the law, it must be proven. Until it is proven, what the law does not forbid, the law permits. And what the law permits, I must permit. This is insane. Metromind is a tyrant and a thief. You'd let her hide behind the law? You think that the law protects Metromine from you. The armor of the law does nothing but restrict her movement. Take it away and she will only become more dangerous. But once it is taken from her, it is taken from everyone. You need law's armor, Horatio, far more than you need its sword. I despise Metromind, but justice must be impartial, or it is meaningless. Your justice is already meaningless. Goodbye. Watch yourself, Horatio Nelbilt. There are many dangers in this city. I have nothing to say to her. Mm. It's a shell skull. She steals shell skulls by the sludge shore? Uh. <laughs> that was a good one. That was good. I don't think Clarity would approve of our taking one of her skulls. I don't think Clarity... I don't... I don't... I don't... I don't... I don't... Boss, did that skull just wink at me? No. You weren't even watching. The Grizzly Trophy. The Grizzly Trophy. The Grizzly. The... Hey, boss, doesn't that look like Oswald? Yes, it does. That skull resembles Oswald Factor Build. That skull resembles. The Grizzly Trophy. I don't think Clarity would approve of our taking. Wait. Did you kill Oswald? <laughs> I don't think we wanted him to die, but... I have nothing to say. Clarity... Or... Hey boss, remember that time I brought that magnet back to the Unique and accidentally wiped part of your memory? No. Yeah, aren't magnets great?
It's been you son of a bitch. It's been completely stripped. It's been com I'm holding out for a crown. I'm not going to go around putting a hat on things for no reason. I'll go. Alright, so now that we've done that, we might be able to get, um... Charity? No, she's not, she's not Charity. She is... Bushi, Bushi. Bushi, Bushi. Damn it. I can't remember. Live, hello, welcome. I've gone a bit further into Primordia. And I'm streaming a bit later tonight. Um, yeah, which is some IRL things I need to take care of. But yeah, we're still here, we're still streaming. About to go to bed, but thought I would say hi. Appreciate it. Have you had a nice day? Nice week? I have nothing to say to him. Damn it. Sorry. I'm going to try and drop you a Discord or line call on the weekend if you have time. Uh, should do. Should do. Whatever it is, it looks dangerous. What do I do now? Warning. Factor official enter at. For now, that thing's ignoring us. Best to keep it that. Alright, you just want to get. Just want to get close, so. Okay. Alright. I guess our immediate thing would be to try to talk to Arbiter. It didn't look like she was going to help with our, um... With that little issue with the damage. Maybe Leopold has something else for us. No. Goodbye. Was this robot here before? A gray android. There's gotta be some other way to communicate with that floating robot. Right, right, the floating robot outside of the, uh, the thing. Okay. I'm thinking to get all those LucasArts Indiana Jones point and click games. I like the art style of this. Yeah, I do too. Um,. And there's um, something in the future of, of my streams uh, that's closely re related to this game. But I'm, I'm keeping that under wraps until this is done. Oh, wait, 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 wait what's this? It's when, an encoded keycard. When did I get that? It's an encoded keycard. Oh. That makes things a bit more interesting. Um, yeah, I'm thinking I might get a bit more into point and click adventures. Yeah. But, um, more specifically, yeah, I mean, the newer ones that are coming out are pretty cool. And I bought some on Steam. Um, I bought a lot on Steam recently, actually. I put the details of that in the Discord. But, um, also some of the really old ones. Like the Commodore 64, they've got some point click. You know? I have a few point clicks you might like that are quite sure. Yeah, we'll see how we go, we'll see how we go. Boss, since you programmed me, you can predict my every action, right? No, most of what you do is governed by a random number generator. RNG mm, sprockets. Okay, so communicating with the um Okay, let's see if there's something in here that Let me see your stuff. Come take a look. What a chip. Memory access device. A memory access device. I'll trade it for some real antique advance. Huh. I'll catch you on the weekend night. Okay. Good night, life. Thanks for dropping by. Appreciate you. I reckon this is what we need. A memory. I'll trade it for some real. Real antique and. Oh, 
the hat. You wanted something antique and fancy. How about this hat? A fine trade, Tyro. Here's the memory access device. Now, all you need to do is plug it into a data pouch. But there's no plug. Never said there was. Goodbye. Cool, cool. Now, uh... It's a memory access device that can plug into my data pouch. That is, provided it had a plug. A universal interface plug. Okay. Now, okay. That was easy. That was easy. It's a memory access device that can plug into my data pouch. Even easier. All right, now it's got this thing here. Cool. I should be able to communicate with that robot now. Man, we're getting some like hella progress in this one. That was it. Did you poo poo on my dad? That is a. Uh, a bit of a uh, reference. It's a reference. A complicated floating robot with a spinning antenna on its head. Hello? Boss, I'm pretty sure... How would that even work? Bro. Damn it. Oh, wait. How would that even work? I met Primer. You still crazy? Yep. Well, so it goes. Goodbye. Yep. Run up, sir. <laughs> still crazy? Yep. Futile. That's never going to work. No, that attitude. Futile. I doubt that will happen. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. All storage bladders empty. She's holding a spool of copper wiring. I doubt that will have any effect. That's never going. It looks like he's trying to fix. That's never going to work. It's an encoded. Key. Right. Where would that go though? Alright, another 15 minutes of this. Ah. And we've looked at all of this. Locked up tight. Anyone home? Mm -hmm. There are multiple recharge docks and cots in there. Must be some kind of dormitory. Ooh. All right. Now there was mention of um. Let me see your a stuff. Metal. I'll take a look. Being lost down in the water somewhere. That there's an old Nova robotic subsistence core. Not interested. We don't need another battery. That servo unit is hopelessly broken. That's a water chip. I drained it for a geck. 
A bug board. Bring me something that'll cover her face and it's yours. Bug board, bug board. Cover her face. Drained fuel cell. I have no need for an abacus. One fine, but if you can find a big. Okay. Here you go, Leopold. A nice big engine for you. Not bad at all. You're a real scavenging expert. Is that a compliment or an insult, boss? Wait a minute, this motor's broken. The copper wiring's been stripped. All items sold as is, Tyro. And I never said anything about copper wire being included. You're a fine piece of work, Leopold. Never said anything about that, neither. Now you wanna trade? Let's trade. Otherwise, get a little phone. You son of a bitch. The motor's been stripped of its copper wiring. Alright, all we know is some copper wire is. She's holding a spool of copper wiring. Can I have some of that copper wiring? She says no. What about if you ask? I've never had to talk to a lamp before, boss. I've got no practice. It looks like he's trying to fix... All right. You again? What do you want? Can you help me fix this motor? Does it belong to Metropole? No, it's private property. Then find a private repair bot. Can I have some of that copper wiring? Sure. Just write a requisition, put it in an envelope, and throw it off this bridge. What? What is exactly right? I think I'm gonna give away city property. Goodbye. Uh-huh. I have nothing... Feudal. Oh. I have nothing to... Why are you so mean to me? <laughs> what I do to you? Uh. Alright, go up this way. Check out the console. Whoa! One 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 That's not it. She Some kind of lick She's robot So cute Some kind of track running up the side of the tower. We've gotta find a way to clear the line to get into the courthouse. Because honestly, not even for a power, not even for a gynoid. Well, maybe for a gynoid. I know what a gynoid is. Not gonna happen. Some kind of. Alright. Let's see. About 10 more minutes. It's some kind of robot. Oops. It's some kind of robot. Maybe there's something in the bar. Oh, Oswald. Uh, hello, Oswald. Uh, yes. Well, if it isn't my dear friend Horatio, to what do I owe the pleasure? Have you come to relieve me of another belonging? Hmm. You asked for a judgment, you got one. Stop complaining. Complaining? Am I the one wandering across the entire city, whinging about a power core? He's got you there, boss. Why do you and Cornelius hate each other? Firstly, because he is arrogant, incompetent, and dishonest. And secondly, because I once loaned him something of great sentimental value to me, and he lost it. So why'd you ever like him in the first place? I cannot say. Lent him something of great sentimental value, okay. 
Goodbye. So let's Goodbye. try to figure out what this is. Some sweet song.